Hi everybody. Let me get back here. Um, welcome to Drinking with a Dietitian, episode three. So I missed a couple weeks. Um, last or two weeks ago, I was in Cambodia. So the recipe today is inspired by um, a Cambodian dish. And then last week I was not feeling well. This week I'm still getting over a little bit of a cold. So I'm making um, a healthy, refreshing drink. There's actually no alcohol in the drink I'm making today. Um, but I'll give you some great ideas if you did want to make it alcoholic. Um, but it's great for a refreshing summer drink. Um, and if you're watching, please, um, please send me a note and let me know. Um, and please share this video if you like it so we can spread the word and, and spread the recipe. Um, and it'll be up live on my website tomorrow, the recipe for the drink and for the spring rolls. Um, on amandabarnesrdn.com. So today I am making a cucumber ginger spritzer. It's actually World Cucumber Day. Who knew? But there's a day for everything now. So I'm including cucumber in both dishes. So it's a cucumber ginger spritzer and then I have some veggie bok choy rolls. Um, they're like veggie spring rolls um, and I'll, I'll talk to you about some variations that you can make with that as well. But I'll start with a drink. So I have my blender here today, and um, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna add a cup of water, this is cold water. Um, and then I have my cucumber here, and I'm just gonna roughly chop it. I just washed it. I actually am not peeling it or anything like that. Um, cucumber is super healthy. People, a lot of people, what's in cucumber, yes, it is mostly water, so they don't think there's many um, health benefits, but actually, have you ever heard of people putting it on your eyes for the spa? It's anti-inflammatory. That's why you do that. It takes away the inflammation. Well, it does the same thing in your body as well. And a lot of those nutrients are in the skin. So you want to leave the skin on whenever you can. So I'm just going to throw that in. I just cubed it up a bit. And then I'm just taking a lemon, leaving the skin on. Again, I washed it, but I'm just going to chop it into chunks. And... Throw it in the blender just like that. If you see some big seeds, go ahead and kind of take them out. Um, but again, with the lemon as well, a lot of the nutrition, the vitamin C, the fiber, all of that is in the skin and the white part. So those are things that we don't usually eat of the lemon, but we're gonna leave those on today and I'm just taking some of the seeds out and we're gonna throw them right in our blender. Um, they'll come, it, this will all get blended up and the great thing is the skin actually holds a lot of the flavor as well. So you're going to get a lot more um, lemon zest flavor out of this. And then we cut down on food waste. So it's like a win-win-win. So I'm cutting this whole lemon up. If you don't like it quite so lemony, um, that's fine. Don't use the whole lemon. Or you can always water it down a bit more. So just cut it into some chunks so it's a little bit easier for your blender to get at. And then for the ginger, ginger can be tough. Um, a lot of people don't really know how to use fresh ginger. So I have a ginger root here. I've already used some of it. Um, the best way I like to do ginger is uh, to peel it. I actually just use a knife or you could use even the back of a spoon and you just kind of brush it. The skin comes off, it's so thin and it comes off so gently. Um, and if you leave some on there, no big deal. You know, I washed the ginger, there shouldn't be any dirt on it, but just so you get some of that outer um, skin off, just kind of brush it, that looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is take a fork and just, again, kind of brush it. And this will help kind of just string it apart. It's so easy, actually it's easier than chopping it. Chopping ginger sometimes can be so hard, it's hard to get them really, really small. But this is a great way and you just kind of brush it and you can see here, it's all just stringing apart. And I'm gonna throw this all in the blender. Use about a tablespoon. You can use a tablespoon or two depending on kind of how spicy you like it. All right, that looks good to me. I'm just gonna pick this up, throw it in. So easy. Now, turn the blender on. Thank you. 
let that blend up real nice. We're gonna let it go for good 30 seconds or so. All right, once it looks like it's gotten most of that cucumber, um, most of the lemon, I see one more little lemon rind into there, so I'm gonna turn it on one more time. And it smells so good. It smells like going to the spa. I mean, you can just, oh, the lemon, the cucumber, you get your vitamin C. And cucumber actually has a lot of cancer-fighting nutrients as well. Um, and there is some calcium in cucumber. A lot of greens have calcium. Same with the bok choy. People don't know that calcium. So with the calcium and the flavonoids and the vitamin K, that's great for your bones. All right. Now I'm just going to strain this out so that we don't get big chunks. So I have my, um, the same container that I poured the water out from. I'm just gonna pour this over the strainer right into here. And we're just gonna let that drain for a minute and get some out, get some of those really big chunks out so that we have a nice, clear, easy drinking liquid. And it might need a little bit of help. Mash that through with your fork. Get all the liquid out. I'm just using a basic um, fine mesh strainer. And we'll let that sit for a minute. And I will start on our bok choy rolls. Now you don't have to use bok choy. Um, actually a lot of times these are made with Swiss chard. But here in Manila and in the Philippines, I'm not sure the Philippines in general, but definitely Manila, it's hard to come by um, uh, uh, chard or collard greens. So I'm using bok choy, much easier to find here in Asia. Um, so let me just move this to the side. Continue to let that drain. And in our rolls, we're going to put cucumber, World Cucumber Day. Uh, a little bit of carrot, some red pepper. This is actually from the farmer's market. It's beautiful, it's like half green, half red. I love it this time of year. You can find amazing peppers. I know in the States they're about to be in season as well. And then we have um, some cilantro, some mint, and some basil. We're gonna pack this full of herbs. Herbs, again, flavor your dish so much and they give you a ton of nutrition. People don't realize that cancer fighting, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, not to mention the flavor that makes this so delicious. And then we're making a cashew cream sauce and I'll walk you through that when we get there. So I'm just gonna kind of quickly chop up this carrot and if you can see me, I'm just doing it really thin slices. You can do it as thin as you want, right? This, there's no, um, you don't need to be too precise, just as thin as you want. You can always get the pre-shredded carrots as well, but I like them fresh from the farmer's market. Um, they're crispier, and I think cutting is kind of um, kind of therapeutic. It's nice to get in the kitchen and just chop these up. And if you have kids at home, obviously once you do the chop, you do the chopping, but once this is all chopped up, this is a great activity for kids to help roll up, and it's fun to eat. It's colorful, beautiful, and super healthy because it's all just vegetables and then um, some cashews in the dip, so you're getting some protein there, um, and it's a delicious, refreshing summer snack. So I've got my carrots just in nice, thin little pieces like that. Now I'm gonna move on to my pepper. Super easy, cut that right up. Again, nice, thin strips, cut the pepper in half. Nice, thin strips, just like I did the carrot. That'll be good to go. And now the cucumber, slice it in half, and then into a quarter. And then I'm just gonna kinda do that same, the same thing that I did with the carrot. 
Just slice that right down the middle and just as roughly and as thin as you can get it, it does not have to be perfect. There we go, so we have our main ingredients. Now I'm gonna bring my bok choy and I just um, cut off the stems. Any big leafy green lettuce, kale would be great for it too. So I'm gonna put this down on my board, load it up with my veggies that I have, these cucumbers, Red peppers is the part that kids would love to do. So beautiful, so colorful, so fun. Put those carrots on there. All right, now we're gonna add the major pop of flavor. So I'm gonna add, you know, I'm adding about four or five leaves of mint. Don't be shy with the herbs. Again, this is what adds all the flavor. So don't be shy with them. I used to like cut up one thing, one leaf of basil and try and make it go far. But you know what? Load it on there, it'll be so much more flavorful. And then I'll just rip some of these cilantro leaves right off the stem, sprinkle those on, and roll it right up. Now it's up to you, you can cut it in half again at like a nice angle to make it look really pretty if you're having a party, or you can just eat it like a big wrap, um, like, a, like a little mini veggie burrito here if you want. Either way is fine. I'll leave this one whole. I chopped up some other ones earlier. And now for the sauce. Dipping sauce is key. Uh, not only you know, does it add some um, moistness to it, you always want a little bit of liquid with it. Um, so of course you could do like a sweet chili dipping sauce, you could do an almond sauce, something like that. But today I'm doing a cashew sauce. So I actually already blended it. All you do is soak uh, a cup of cashews, raw cashews, in a little bit of water. So just kind of make sure that the water comes up to the edge of the cashews. Soak that for about an hour or two until they're soft. Rinse them, fill it with a, a, up to water again, and then throw it in the blender until it's liquidy. Now you can do it as thick or as thin as you want. I like it pretty thick. Um, it makes for a better dip. Now all I'm going to do is add to that to add a little bit more flavor. So I've got my cashews, blended cashews, and add a little bit of soy sauce, or this is um, tamari sauce, which is like a gluten-free soy sauce. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of that to our mixture. And then I'm going to add a little bit more ginger. So I already showed you how to do that. Just kind of brush through the ginger. And this is what's really going to give it that Asian flair, this dip here. All right, add some of that ginger. If you want it, I'm just doing ginger and soy. Um, add a little bit of salt to that to bring out the flavor. If you wanted to add ginger or garlic, that would be wonderful as well. But there you go, that's your dip, so easy. And um, that works great for, for any kind of, um, it's a very versatile sauce, so once you try it, it's wonderful. All right, so we have this done now, and you can see all the remnants uh, of the cucumber and the lemon are here. And we've got this beautiful fresh juice. I'm just gonna pour that in about halfway up my cup. And then of course it's a spritzer, right? So I just have some soda water here. Rather than using tonic water, um, rather than using Sprite, try and go for soda water. Again, so you don't get that sugar. If it's not sweet enough for you, Add a little bit of simple syrup to it to sweeten it up yourself, and I bet it will still have less sugar than most um, sugary beverages. Now I've got this wonderful summer spritzer. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. So good. I hope you join me next week for another episode, and please feel free to comment if there's anything else you'd like to see.